so we are logged in into our azure account with active subscription uh, if you don't have an active subscription you, you can create a trial i will paste the link so what we will do we will create a resource from the marketplace we will click on web app here we will get a number of things to fill out uh, that is uh, select your subscription then uh, select the web resource we can select an existing web resource if you are working on a project and you have already built a resource group or you can create a new i have already created a service group so i will select that so uh, now you will uh, now it will ask for the instance name this is just the url of your website uh, through which you're gonna browse uh, that will be let's suppose abc or domsky dot azure website dot in so i will write it here yep domsky so this would be our it will check for the availability and this would be our url next what should be the publisher we will select as code uh, runtime stack it will help azure to prepare resource for your web application so i will select here as uh, 3.1 operating system i will keep it as windows so you can have it as linux to reduce your costing same resource whichever location is nearest to you you can select that as your reason so data center would be that so now it will ask for the app service plan where you have to select the windows plan so if i click on new entering it as test and clicking on ok now you can see it has changed the size for me and i can choose from the various systems so here are the tire defined whatever tire you want based on uh, it is a production or dev or test so you can decide from here what, what subscription you want to take so what i will do i will just select the older one which was already created the d1 and uh, that is 627 uh, inr per month you can click on next and monitor more setting but i would be i already set up everything and will click on review and create now uh, it has reviewed all the information and you can click on create and uh, it will take few more seconds to create the create the web app as you can see the message here is your deployment is underway and you can see the resource being created below uh, you can refresh the page or you can come back after a few minutes to check out the status once our deployment is done you will get a message your deployment is completed you can see all the all other information on the notification you can uh, browse through the resource from here if you go to the main resource page you will find all your resources here which were created with that particular web app and you can filter it out using your resource group if that that resource group was new you will only find the web app component otherwise all other application which have whichever using this particular resource group would be available here and you can filter it out from this particular section our next step would be creating a simple website we will click on file creating a new website we can also create a web application from the project but uh, we would be using an empty website for this particular uh, particular video clicking on empty website instead of web form giving it a name we will give it a name like sample website dvm ski so you can see in in empty website we don't get much of the uh, much of the files we only have a web config and uh, just a solution we will add a aspx page clicking on add new and we'll add a web form giving it a name or i will select it as default here we have our html i will write it down here saying that h1 hello everyone this is manish from domsk this website need to be published on azure we can check if this is working fine so our website is working fine with the heading naming as hello everyone this is manish from domsky and this website need to be published on azure so now we have created our web app we have created our sample website so now it's time to configure our development center for azure repo and azure pipeline we will click on development center for the source control we have several options but we will go with the azure repository we'll click azure pipeline continue and our environment our project repository would be subdomsky and branch as master so these are the only information needed and clicking on continue to configure it and clicking finish so this is how we can configure deployment center next is i will reset everything and now we will publish our sample website using the profiler so going to the overview here we will find an option get published profile clicking on that so it will download the published settings which we will use in our sample website to publish our website onto azure opening our sample website now clicking on the project 
Now we will select the published web app. On to here, there would be several options like uh, we can directly publish it using this option or we can click on import a uh, setting. Browsing our downloaded setting. We will select this latest setting. Clicking on OK. And you can see all the required fields are pre-filled with that particular setting. We will validate the connection. It says connection is successful. We can click next. We can provide the configuration. We will keep it as debug right now and publish. We can check in the output what's happening. Once the publish is successful, we'll open the browser with the website. And you can see it has uh, the same URL, uh, yupdomsky.azurewebsites.net. And this is our page which we modified saying that this website need to be published on Azure. What next we're going to do is we will make the modification to this particular page and we will check in using the git. Then we will use the deployment center to sync the same. We, will, we had made a change. This website has been published successfully. Going into the team explorer, the changes and checking in on to the master itself. We have a push request here. We will click on push and all done. Coming back to our kit repository and you can see uh, the, the changes are committed here. So our next step would be we will go to the deployment center and we'll start the sync. Coming back to our web app, going to deployment center.